Greetings from Cobweb Cottage. Since our last cottage video, the leaves have told us, through their colorful ensembles, that it's time to celebrate the cozy moments of fall's grand finale. The critters around the cottage can sense the change as they make final preparations before winter. Nuts and seeds are being collected, making sure their pantries are fully stocked. The birds bid farewell to their seasonal home before flying away for a while. And next time we see them, they'll be building their nest for springtime. This autumn in New York meant so much to us. Even if the world seems turned upside down, the nature doesn't know that. It feels like the woods are a safe haven, reaching out to be enjoyed whenever the colors of the wind calls us outdoors. October in the Sleepy Hollow countryside always leaves us spellbound. The atmosphere truly leaves you bewitched, like you've just stepped into a vintage Halloween postcard. Some of our favorite cozy moments are on rainy days. We can't help ourselves but bake a pumpkin pie, make some tea to enjoy in the dancing candlelight. This year has been special because we have been celebrating the bicentennial of the legend of Sleepy Hollow in our book club. It was a Halloween treat to reread Washington Irving's tale of the Headless Horseman with the warm jack-o'-lantern's glow. October is our favorite month for many reasons, but especially because we get to celebrate our birthdays together right before Halloween. This year we didn't have any particular plans and found ourselves on a spooky foggy adventure in a cornfield. Since I work as a professional pumpkin carver, I usually don't have much time to carve a jack o' lantern for ourselves. But this year, we decided to do our own cobweb cottage pumpkin, and seeing our cottage on a pumpkin makes us love it even more. Many people assume that carving a pumpkin is done very quickly. The truth is that it takes many hours to finish a fine art jack-o'-lantern. 
The first step is to illustrate the design with ink on the pumpkin. The round shape makes it more tricky. Although, isn't Halloween supposed to be about tricks or treats? Next step is to carve out the parts you want to glow. You need nerves of steel, because if you slip up, there is no way going back. Finally you got it, and you can make some final adjustments of the lighting from inside the pumpkin. It's a real treat to see your masterpiece illuminated. Once in a blue moon it's sure nice to not have any grand plans for Halloween night. Sometimes a quiet and simple celebration can be all you need. We hope you enjoyed seeing some of our Halloween time at Cobweb Cottage. Bye for now! <laughs>